for affordable food um, for the most vulnerable uh, cohort of the population. And when we talk about food, we're talking about everyone's food. Thank you very much. Uh, Luke McFlanagan. Uh, thank you for a uh, very interesting uh, draft report. I uh, agree with uh, uh, the vast majority of it, uh, but on point five, uh, I'd have to suggest a change. It says calls for the continued support for those most in need. Um, uh, I see later in it you're calling for in increasing the envelope, but I think it would be untrue uh, to say that there has been support for those in most in need. So to call for continuing that support would be incorrect. And I think you can note from actually one of the next files we're discussing on discharge, uh, it's noted there that 4% of direct payments are divided amongst more than half of the current beneficiaries who receive less than €1,250 a year. Now, on point two, uh, there's a suggestion that uh, an information campaign is funded on the budget. I think that would be a wonderful idea if we had a proper distribution in cap. But at the moment, the information campaign that you'd have to put out would be that we have ranchers, we have people like Larry Goodman, we have people like uh, the, the, the Queen in England getting hundreds and thousands of euros. What, do, what sort of a campaign do we put out? We improve the lives of the rich while impoverishing the poor. We can't really put out a campaign while this is the current situation. But if it was properly distributed, we could. Because as someone who has never been on, worked on a farm in their life, doesn't live on a farm, but I'm a townie, someone who lives in the middle of a town, I see the wonderful benefits of the money that comes from CAP. My father was a carpenter when he was working, and pretty much every fitted cupboard he put in was done for farmers, and he got that money from CAP money. Now, if that money was better distributed, that money would go further, and we could sing it, and we could shout it. And in particular, when you look at Brexit, and you look at the implications for the border counties, even without any increase in funding, really, and without... Uh, giving the money to the ranchers. We see with the proper system where we have a flattening of payments, where we have proper evening out, we would see a situation where Donegal would get 28 million more, Leitrim would get 11 million more. So those counties who are going to be most affected by Brexit would actually get a lift without actually putting any more money in there. So the cap could be brilliant, but at the moment I can't see how we could advertise how it pays for the Queen's pearls and diamonds. It wouldn't really sell. Grazie Flanagan. Bolovic. Uh, 